0.4. So this week we're going to be talking about uh, cash discount. But this time we're going to use the ordinary dating. Okay. So what does uh, ordinary dating in this case? Let's say, for example, if I'm, I'm going to be an offer discount, uh, like look at this one here. You can see there's a 2 slash 10. 2 slash 10 means I'm going to get a 2% uh, discount if I pay the amount within 10 days from the invoice uh, date. But if I don't pay it within 10 days, I need to pay the whole net amount within 30 days. Okay. So, for example, here's an example of uh, a problem that says the same thing. So, the date of on the invoice is 5 uh, uh, June 5th. So, that means I have 10 days from June 5th to pay it so I could get my 2% discount. If I don't pay it within that period of time, that means I need to pay the whole amount. That's this section. Now, the second section, which is cash discount, but now end of month dating eom means end of month dating that means i'm going to get the discount starting from the the end of the month so it doesn't make a difference what the, the, the date of the invoice so by the end of the month that i receive the invoice i have 10 days or whatever it depends on the question i will get my discount okay so that's the second section here the third one is about inventory inventory is the uh, is the the, the products that you have or the out, outputs that you have inside your store that you have not sold yet. Uh, we, as a business, we need to keep track of that. We need to make sure that when to reorder, because if you are in a business that you make, you want to make sure that you don't run out of stock. Uh, it will not be good for a business for customers coming and asking about stock that you have and items that you have that you don't have. Then, you tell them that you don't have it. So you want to make sure that you keep track of it so you could keep ordering on time, okay, and with the right amount. So you make sure that this is going to be a cycle, and that's how you do it. The sections be behind that will be the inventory uh, valuing, which is uh, there's three ways of doing it, either by doing the average cost method or by doing actually the first in, first out, and last in, last out methods. We're going to talk about them later on, uh, how we could uh, value the inventory, uh, just to make sure that, you know, the value of it, how much is it, how much is worth in our stock. Okay, the last one will be a section about carrying the inventory. Carrying inventory costs money, so to have inventory is not cheap. Uh, every inventory has a percentage of uh, uh, charge on it, for example, or, or, or cost, let's say more than charge cost. So here's, for example, they're showing you there's a 25% cost on holding uh, an inventory worth of a half a million. So it's going to cost me annually to keep, just to keep this in my stock, it's going to cost me $125,000 just to keep track of it. So, I mean, this this cost will be part of it, uh, rent, part of it, a handling cost, uh, insurance, and all that. So uh, that will be the end of this chapter, by the way. So it's going to take us, you know, a couple of weeks to finish this. So we'll talk about it when we get uh, to class. Okay, guys. Bye-bye.